The coconut tree or new is a fundamental practice of food sovereignty or food security. I like to view it as hoea air, the return to freedom with freedom. It means we've regained our footing in a natural system that allows us to eat once again more simply, to share once again without money. It stimulates a sharing economy that allows us to um, empower ourselves. So new now is a movement of beloveds to learn how we can recover this relationship with our beloved tree of life. Today, the coconut in Hawaii is considered an ornamental tree and a liability. We have thousands of new on Oahu, but most coconut trees do not have coconuts in them as the nuts are cut down before they mature enough to eat. This has now become an issue because of the food insecurity of our communities. Aloha mai kakoa pao. My name is Manulani Aluli Meyer, and my ohana hails from Mo'okapu, Kailua, and I come from those places along with Hilo Poleku on Mokokeave, Hawaii Island. Yeah, it's a good coconut. We can eat it tonight. We'll have the nut for the dinner and the husk for planting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Aloha. My name is Indrajit Kumar Samarasingh Hagunasekara. I am from Nadugala, Matara, Southern Sri Lanka. Coconut is a part of our Singhala culture. As long as we've been in that island, we ate coconut. This is a food producing tree. This is food. Round, around. Working with Auntie Manu, it is her and mine shared hope in Hawaii, having coconut in the tree. And to say start in this very nursery, to germinate that dream. <laughs> so Indrajit was making, this, everyone thinks it's some ancient chart. No, this is his Ulu Niu game plan. This is the plan for tomorrow. Do you see where the Ulu are and the Niu? Can you tell? Tomorrow is our Ulu Niu last and final planting day. We've been planting and preparing the soil for the last two years. They've given us 11,000 square feet to produce a dry land forest. What a miracle. So to get the ground ready, the first thing is we need to get the husk broken down as small as possible, yeah? Now we let them sit in a two days in the water. So this water here, this moisture, is going to stay for several months, even in the hot sun. Putting that on the ground, that will retain the moisture and will be good for the plant. We are so grateful to have Indrajit and his knowledge of the new that's come from thousands and thousands of years of practice, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're all new, Nate, you know, but he's the head coconut head. He's the, he's the head coconut. I think it was a month ago we had the rain here. You see, moisture, water, this has this is our surviving here. In Hawaii, the word for land is aina. Aina means that which feeds, that which nourishes. Kumu is the source. Kumu is teacher. Kumu is our word for tree. And so this kumu niu is the idea that all trees become our teachers. This is something an elder told me. Somebody that know about this area, a kupuna. The stories tell that this was a royal coconut grove. Hundreds of coconut, hundreds of new. Now it's down to tree. My opinion, I see this as a loss to this place. What if this was the last tree of this variety been in this island? The idea of diversity within new, within coconuts, is very important. 
We have really enjoyed, you know, people's faces when they say, what, there's more than one coconut variety? Yes, there is. It's like the difference with humanity. We have to be different to survive. We have to be different to allow our talents and excellence to be recognized, and then the collaborations are stronger. Same thing with the new. Most coconut growing places has a record. People know what varieties they have, categories of coconut. We don't have it yet here. This tree, this Manoa green tall, they chopped the tree down. Looking at 4,000 trees and collecting over 1,000 coconut, I'm still looking for that pointed end nut. I haven't found that variety yet. Yeah, you know, I'm still hope. Hope is still live in these trees. If we give a little bit better care and get some seed to grow. How we lost the knowledge of Neo is a very um, tender topic. But I can say this, that the United States illegally took my nation, 1893, and we are healing from that. I believe sovereignty goes to freedom when we are able to activate ourselves in that healing process with America with our Polynesian cousins, with ourselves. So the new became an ornamental tree for tourists. And the nuts were taken out because they caused danger. And our tree of life became an ornamental liability. The maintaining of that is my problem to fix. So colonization is indeed rampantly choking us until you realize, just step away from the chokehold, plant, feed ourselves with our own forests, with our own trees of sustenance and beauty and culture and empowerment. Feed ourselves. Do it ourselves. This is what Neo Now is about. It's joyful, you know, recognizing that yes, we did get cut away from our land. We did get severed from our government. And now 120 years later, we're able to see that history as part of our own facet of evolution. And so people like Indrajit from Southern Sri Lanka can help us heal. It doesn't matter who, it matters that we are healing collectively. Okay, we are going with our inventory here. And if you see in the chart, this is a 1D and the 1D over there. Those two plants will be planted today. You excited? Yes. <laughs> I'm always excited. But this today is especially something about today. Aloha e kia kua na kini o kua na auma kua na kupuna kia vahi puna hele. Aloha mai kākoa pā. Maloko nei, ma vaho nei. Feel our gratitude. One group can work on picking the weed out and pulling them down, and the other team can break the husk. Anytime you expose people, and especially youth, to um, Aina work, to land work, you expose them to the possibilities of their own internal wakefulness. And that is thrilling to me, because the kids love it. And I'm like, wow, you guys like working hard, sweating, and you know, fatigue work? You're like, yeah, tea. I love that, because when the kids can see what they've done, then they can know that anything is possible. And believe me, to turn this barren, dry, hot lands into a vibrant, living forest, that'll change anybody. That's our goal. What it means for me to know this knowledge 
as a student and as a future person to come and help the food system as a future Hawaiian. I see it as a form of liberation, as a form of sovereignty. And he just showed me his connection with new, with coconut. I never grew up with New the way he did, but I have the ability, I, I grew up with Kahlo, you know what I mean? I took that framework that he has and I was able to adopt it to Kahlo. And I feel a great sense of understanding and connection to it because it's my ancestors that used to farm this. The beauty of the coconut, right? The coconut travels, travels still yet yeah, all over the world by itself. When we realize that we're just traveling with the coconut and regaining this knowledge and experience from different people, different cultures, different languages. It puts you in a different perspective of like what learning can be and what a evolution, what a revolution can be for our people. To me, in its core, it's about aloha aina, malama aina, and really taking care of our people. Don't be afraid to Oli. That's the sprout. Chanting, you know, conjuring life into our plants is, is, is a new thing and old thing at the same time. And uh, it's new for this group, but old for Hawaii. There is the little kupu, there is the sprout. And mu'o is the, is the new sprout that's forming into leaves, mu'o. And then laula is that you can start to see the, the leaves. And then the lala is the branches. And then the kumu is the tree. And then e'ulu meaning, please um, grow, 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 grow. Ulu means to grow. It's like a spiritual connection to life. So yeah, we're basically conjuring forth life with our own life. What can you do to join in a worldwide movement to understand the purpose of trees? That's a lot. You can do a lot. Understand what's around your neighborhood. Value indigenous knowledge. Allow for the history of a place to be known. This is not about coconuts. This is about friendship. This is about continuity. This is about joy. This is about the essence of life. And we happen to have the form in growing coconuts. You know what I mean? The tree, the seed, that can float over 3,000 miles over 100 days and find the land and grow. Such a tree with that potential inspired us in thousand years. It because that tree lived with us for that long, we became a part of coconut tree. Coconut tree became part of us in the tropical world. When we come to that realization again, it's an awakening. We call this a new now movement. Movements have no limitation. Kupu kaniu, kupu ke kanaka, pua kaniu, pua kava hine u i hua kaniu, hua na keki, na pula pula o ka aina. Eia koniula, eke akua.